G'day music fans, lovers of rock everywhere on Triple M. Dave Faulkner here from the Gurus. I'm here to talk to you about Record Store Day, which is happening this Saturday. So head on down to your favourite record store and give them some of your custom because uh, they're great people and they'll point you in the direction of some excellent music. As you can see from the racks behind me, I'm a bit of a, a visitor to record stores in my time. I, I go all the time actually and uh, one of my favourites is a local store near me in Sydney called Red Eye Records. And uh, I know they've got a big celebration record store this Saturday and I'm sure other record stores wherever you are will have the same. And uh, the last time I went there, I actually, I, I haven't even unpacked this bag. I put it down, I didn't file it away yet and all, amongst all this stuff. So I just thought I'd give you a quick sneak of what I bought. Uh, Jimmy Rogers box set is the, the original country blues guy from America in the 1930s. Uh, he was known as a singing brakeman because he used to ride trains and uh, his, that was his job and uh, had his guitar with him and write songs. He wrote a song called Blue Yodel Number no. 9 and uh, Mule Skinner Blues is one that's been covered by a lot of people. This is a box set of, G of Bobby Gentry, uh, one of my favourite songwriters. She uh, dropped off the face of the earth in the late 70s. She decided to retire from music after being, I don't know how she could do that because her songwriting is so brilliant. Uh, but she did. She hasn't done an interview or anything since. She's uh, been very quiet, but uh, still love her work. You know, enough there to keep me going. That's the whole collection of everything she ever did. Bo Diddley, one of the original bluesmen and uh, rock and roll heroes. The Bo Diddley beat, of course. You've heard everyone from U2 to, you know, Eric Clapton. Everyone's done the Bo Diddley beat. And uh, even the gurus might have tried it. I don't think we've actually recorded one, but... Uh, we certainly love Bo, but Bo was so much more than just one beat. He was a brilliant songwriter and a great guitarist. And uh, yeah, there's a box set, or well, it's not a box set, but it's four discs. That's, that's a good start for Bo. He's got a lot of records out there, so um, can't miss with Bo Diddley. And of course, uh, I've got a two volume set here of rarities from the 20s and 30s called The Stuff That Dreams Are Made Of and More Stuff That Dreams Are Made Of, whatever that one. Um, that was collected by Robert Crumb. It's from old 78 records. Anyway, just to give you an idea, the sort of treasures you can find in a record store. I mean, I wouldn't find that on the internet. You'd take all day to dig up some of those collections of stuff. You know, you'd just be downloading or you wouldn't even be able to download it. Just bloody listen to them and never come back to them. I can listen to them anytime I want because I go to a record store. I buy records, vinyl, CDs, whatever, and I've got the best quality fidelity. That's why I love record stores. Why I love records. You should love them too. Go to Record Store Day and have fun. Enjoy music. Keep it alive.